Thanks for checking out this video. So this is the haul video for the birthday that I just recently had, which was the big 4-0. So um, I appreciate that people got me things, especially horror related. So this is not exactly everything that I ended up getting for my birthday. It's almost everything because most people know I mainly want horror related stuff. Uh, also a few things. One thing I just happened to get around the same time that's not birthday related. And one thing I actually purchased for myself on my birthday because I saw it and was like, I can't really pass this up. Um, or actually the day before my birthday. But Let's get into it. So my wife got me a few things, and the first of which is something I've been wanting to get for a while, and I keep forgetting. Uh, I have it on a list that I keep on my phone of things that I want, but I don't check it that often, so I keep forgetting, and then it'll pop up somewhere. I see it online, and I'm like, oh, yes, I want that, I want that. So finally, she went ahead and got me the full series of Twin Peaks. Yes, that's seasons one and two, which were the original ones, as well as the limited a series event is what they call it that was on showtime i believe um that was season three basically so uh love 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 seasons one and two i actually only made it to through like episode nine or ten in the limited series or uh special event whatever it was um and then i kind of got sidetracked with stuff i forgot to go back to it and then i just like forgot forgot so my plan is to go back through seasons one and two because I love them that much and then also go all the way through the third season for the first time. And now, now that I have this, I need to get Fire Walk With Me. Um, yeah, so very excited about this. This is huge. I will say the packaging that they have for this is really crappy, to be honest. Like the way they have the Blu-rays in here. Let me show you. Like the way it's set up is kind of like this really weird... Like, there's two Blu-rays stacked right here, and then two stacked under here, and then there's one, two here, one here, and then it's like one, 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 and you have to, like, unhook this thing, one, 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 and one. But the thing is, some of them are really hard to get off of these, like, peg things, and some of them are just really hard to, to keep in place. That's the other thing. So the design of this is really terrible, actually. Um, they should have done something very, very different. Um, yeah. So I don't like how they laid it out. But I like having this. And I'm going to enjoy the actual show. Because I love the show. So very happy to finally have Twin Peaks. Because I love Twin Peaks. Now, the next thing is something that my buddy Rich gave me. Which, if you attend our watch parties that we do every other Saturday at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time through Scener for uh, sh movies on Shudder. Then if you if you attend those, you probably know who Rich is then because he shows up to those. And uh, yeah, so he got me something that I've seen before and been like, man, I really like that. I really would want that. But I just don't buy figures for myself for some reason. So he went ahead and got me the NECA Trick or Treat Sam figure, which, yeah, um, I'll go ahead and show you all of the sides of it. I don't know if anyone cares about that or that, but yes. And then the most important aspect of it is, well, first of all, this is kind of glossy, which I think is cool. And then let me show you the most important stuff. So I try and get less glare Ugh, and position it properly. Okay, there you go. All the heads that it comes with, so you can see, like, there's, like, what, like, one, two, three, four, uh, three different heads, and then a, sorry, things are reversed here, a jack-o'-lantern, the jack-o'-lantern on fire, you have his bag down here of his candy that he can take with him, and then they also have the, uh, a regular hand, a, um, the hand with the, you know, pumpkin stuff coming out of it that would be severed, his, you know, uh, it's hard to see. You're not going to be able to see it. But his piece of jagged candy that he kills people with. And then the uh, bar of candy that has the razor sticking out of it. So a lot of, of attention to detail with this, if you can see it. A lot of attention to detail with it. It looks super, super good. And, uh, yeah, I'm very, very, very excited to have this. Like I said, it's something that, for some reason, I just don't buy figures for myself. But I end up seeing them plenty of times and being like, that looks so cool. I wish I had that. Now I do. Thank you very much, Rich. So that was super awesome. So then the next, the last thing from people 
from other people that I got was another thing from my wife. And this is something that I read about in Rue Morgue magazine kind of recently. Um, I just recently saw the film Turkey Shoot by Brian Trenchard Smith. And there was an article in Rue Morgue about his career and how he mainly would just made B movies throughout his career. So after I read that article, I was like, oh, that sounds interesting. Then I saw Turkey Shoot, which is one of his films. I was like, I really enjoyed that, and I have a feeling I want to check out more of his stuff. So he had written a book called Adventures in the B-Movie Trade, and I wanted that book, so my wife got it for me. Now, I wasn't expe expecting the book to be like a uh, college textbook type format. Uh, I was expecting that it would probably be on the larger side, like thicker side, but it would be like a normal size of a paperback book. But no, this is like massively big. It's like a table, you know, like a coffee table style book. So it's just got a lot of stuff in there about all of his different films. It's actually written by Brian Trenchard Smith, and he just talks about his career doing B-movies. And apparently, based off of what Rue Morgue said, it's extremely interesting because you get all this behind-the-scenes stuff about his career and the movies he worked on. But also, it's funny. Um, he has a good sense of humor with how he writes. So very, very interested in this. And I'm thinking what I might end up doing with this one is I'll start reading it. And then it looks like there are chapters that are broken down by specific films. So when I get to those, like here's The Man from Hong Kong is chapter 18. Um, what I'll do is see what that chapter is, not read it, and then go check out, like watch the movie first and then read that chapter. So I think that's how I want to experience this book, but... Very excited to read this. Um, super, super cool. Stoked. Okay, so the next thing is something that kind of just showed up. Oh, by the way, the shirt I'm currently wearing was also given to me by Rich Smith just because. Because we've had this kind of like inside joke stuff with Nicolas Cage uh, between me, uh, my wife, him, and his wife, Stephanie. And um, yeah, so he got me this cage fighter, like all Nicolas Cage, <laughs> you know, set up like old stool old so old school video games kind of like Mortal Kombat or Street Fighter but it's all Nicolas Cage from different movies you can see Mandy is right there but yeah and obviously where is it not the bees yeah so anyway okay so w this is the thing that wasn't really for my birthday it just happened to show up the day after my birthday um or 2 days after my birthday actually so it was basically part of my birthday weekend cuz I took off work so I do the uh, Darcy's Patreon for Joe Bob Briggs uh, restoring his old footage. Um, and if you don't know what that is, if you just go through Patreon and you look up Darcy, the male girl, um, she has a Patreon where you can pay. And I think it's, there's like a $5 level and there's like a 30 some dollar level. And I'm doing the 30 some dollar level because you get extra perks, including stuff like this, which is actually a Blu-ray of some of the old stuff that she's restored of Joe Bob's from, you know, things like Monster Vision or uh, he had a few different iterations of shows actually and other things that he kind of guessed it on. So this is, she says on the back, this is like the first volume of it. So I guess she's planning on putting more of these out, but you can only get it if you are doing the Patreon. So if, it's, if this interests you, you should get in on that. Um, very cool. I'm very interested in watching this. I've been watching all that she's been putting up on the Patreon of what she's restored, and it's fun. It's very interesting. It doesn't have the movies. When he's host hosted movies, it doesn't have the movies, but it has all the Joe Bob parts. So, And then the last thing is the thing that I purchased for myself that I saw over my birthday weekend uh, at a place called Third Eye Comics. Um, it's a larger comic book store. They have like five locations, I think in like Maryland and Virginia and I saw this shirt randomly and um I was like oh man I kind of want it but I don't know if I want to spend the money on it right now uh. and then my wife gave me that one little bit of logical push to be like this is why you should just go ahead and get it she was like a it's your birthday and b how often are you going to see a street trash shirt so that's what I got for myself and that is a very valid question that she brought up. How often are you going to see a Street Trash shirt? Like pretty much never. So as you can see, it's the arm, the all messed up arm that is in the process of melting. 
in Technicolor, holding the Tenafly Viper flask as it oozes out, and it says Street Trash in the exact same font as the actual Street Trash film. So, this, I mean, it's awesome. I mean, the design is great. If you like Street Trash to any degree, I think this is worth having. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. So, excited about that. So, anyway, yeah, fun stuff. Um, I'm 40 now, so... I'm even older than I was. <laughs> oh, well. You know, you can't stop these things. It is what it is. But I had a really great birthday. And thank you to my wife, to Rich, um, and to myself for getting my <laughs> getting myself some stuff. Uh, but, yeah. Anyway, uh, hopefully people enjoyed this just kind of seeing what, what stuff it is. Uh, and what are the things that you guys like to get for your birthday? If you want to put some comments down there. Or go ahead and tell me, like, the best horror-related stuff you have received for your birthday. I would be very interested to know that. Um, so yeah, go ahead and put comments down there on that and we'll get nerdy and chat about it. Do me a quick favor though, hit that subscribe button if you can. And you can, because it literally takes a second and it's totally painless and you're paying nothing. This isn't a Patreon or anything. It's just, you know, just hit that subscribe. Also go ahead and hit the notification bell button because then you'll know whenever I'm putting up videos like this, these haul videos, I do unboxings from time to time. Uh, my main thing is my movie reviews, which are very in-depth on the older films and newer films. I do kind of no-spoiler reviews to kind of give you an idea if you'll like a film or not. So go ahead and do that for me. But regardless, I really appreciate you taking your time to check this out. And until next time, keep it brutal.